This video and others like it are funded by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. This video is the U.S. Embassy's latest safety notice, as well as the Sweet Georgia Cafe's top 10 commandments on staying safe in Medellin, Colombia. Let's jump into it. Follow along. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. You're watching DC Born Rob Raising Borders. I'm DC Rob. Let's jump into this latest embassy warning. This came out maybe two or three days ago, if I'm not mistaken. A security alert, reminder of the continued threat of crime in Colombia by the U.S. Embassy Bogota. The U.S. Embassy reminds U.S. citizens of the continued threat of crime throughout Colombia. Recently, robberies conducted by armed individuals have occurred in popular Bogota restaurants, cafes, and breweries frequented by tourists and the expat community. U.S. citizens should be vigilant, maintain heightened situational awareness, and incorporate strong personal security practices into their daily activities. In the unfortunate event of a robbery, U.S. citizens should prioritize personal safety by refraining from resistance and promptly surrendering all valuables without hesitation. See my video on how to get robbed. It's actually entitled, how to get robbed. Resistance can result in an abrupt escalation of violence. Prioritizing compliance enhances the likelihood of a safer outcome in such situations. Should a U.S. citizen find themselves in the vicinity of a shooting, it is crucial to maintain composure. U.S. citizens are advised to adopt a prone position on the ground and actively seek cover or concealment. U.S. citizens should always be alert to the possibility that the criminal organization and terrorist groups may conduct attacks with little or no warning. Targeting transportation hubs, markets, shopping malls, local government facilities, police stations, military facilities, hotels, clubs, restaurants, airports, other public areas, and U.S. government facilities. While terrorists have not specifically targeted private U.S. citizens, the attack could result in unintended victims. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 3 travel advisory for Colombia and recommends that U.S. citizens reconsider travel due to crime and terrorism and exercise increased caution due to civil unrest and kidnapping. The full advisory is available at, and I will leave this information in the description of this video, all type of contact information for you. Okay, so the U.S. government also gives you actions to take, and here's a list of them right here. Keep a low profile. Beware of your surroundings. Avoid parking on the street. Utilize parking lots with attendants and keep valuables out of sight. Limit the amount of information shared with any unknown caller and or strangers. Use caution when walking or driving at night. Remain attentive when entering and departing residences. Do not display signs of wealth, such as wearing expensive jewelry or watches. Limit the use of your cell phone while out in public, especially on the street. Only carry the cash and credit cards that you require for your day's activities. Do not resist physically any robbery attempt and review your personal security plans. Again, and there's contact information that I'm going to put in the description also, all about the embassy and how to contact them and so on. But my next bit of information, again, is from Don Roberto, the owner of Sweet Georgia Cafe and Sports Bar in Poblado. Everybody hangs out in Poblado. You need to make sure you get by there. But we've been going back and forth for some time. He's been watching my videos just as you have. So he's aware, even more aware, obviously, of what's going on there. He wanted to make sure that he came up with a list of things that you guys need to follow in an effort to keep you guys safe. So here's the top 10 commandments. I'm going to run through these right now. Always walk through a door to meet a woman if you are in town for less than three weeks. There are no doors on the street or on dating apps. Does that make sense? Two, avoid women on dating apps and on the streets at all costs. If you don't have a point of reference to find them the next day, she knows you can't find her the next day. I've told you this one before, and that's where I got it from. Three, never walk down the street without your hand on your phone unless it's zipped up. Four, never get too drunk alone or without people you absolutely trust. Five, don't bring jewelry to Columbia. Only a fool does this. You guys ought to know this. Some of you still going to wear it, but anyway. Six, don't use U.S. dollars to purchase anything in Colombia. It may be inconvenient, but always exchange dollars for pesos. Okay, seven, don't be a fish in a barrel. Spread out. Stay and party throughout the city. 
Stop staying just in the Poblado area. And I've been saying this for some time now, fish in the barrel, fish in the barrel. Do you know how many hundreds of you guys are going weekly and you all go to Poblado and you all go to Park Ayatis? It's fish in the barrel. Don't be the fish in the barrel. Okay, eight, always pay for a problem to go away. Keep $100 to $300 emergency fund hidden just in case something unexpected happens. Sound familiar? The guys in Cartagena? Come on now. Pay it to go away. Pay the problem to go away. You pick that person, you slip. Don't blame them because you slipped and picked the wrong person. You picked the wrong person. Remember, when you pick the wrong person, it's done. It's as simple as that. So pick wisely if you're even going to pick. Okay, but pay for the problem to go away. I, I mean, I got to highlight this one more than anything other than staying off the apps, of course. That's the, the key, but pay the problem to go away. You know how much it ended up cost, costing them on top of reputation? And rumors and all the Indian windows that go along with it, it just, it would have made more sense just to pay her to go away. But anyway, number nine, don't walk dirty in Poblado. You know what that means. Don't have nothing on you you should not have because if you get pulled over, you're in a world of hurt. Everybody else says, oh, everybody else is doing it. Well, let everybody else do it. I mean, you ain't got to follow everybody all the time. Ten. Check in at Sweet Georgia Sports Bar in Poblado, the embassy. Stop by there. I've been telling you this for years since I lived there. Stop by there. Get to know people. Talk to people. When you go to a bar anywhere, talk to who's next to you. You know how many people I've met in the past month or two just sitting next to me talking? Girls, guys, anybody. You never know. The universe puts that person next to you for a reason. So talk to them. Get by Sweet Georgia Cafe. Meet some people. Just sit there for a couple hours, even if nobody is there. Sit there for a couple hours. Okay, so there you go. You're up to date with the latest news out of Medellin, Colombia. Remember to travel, but travel safe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. This is Born Rob.